So just the other day, I was sat at home with my wife watching Call the Midwife. Now, don't judge me. And it came to me that adverts on certain pages on my website, or in fact, on my entire website, might not be a good idea. So today's video, I'm going to explain a little bit why, and I want your opinion, should I test this process? So let's get into this. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the channel again. Yeah, so today I'm going to talk about why I am contemplating taking off display ads on my latest public website case study, the travel website that I'm building. Now, the reason for this is, like I said, I was watching Call the Midwife and the info came on and I was bombarded with travel adverts. And my wife turned around to me and said, it's so annoying when all these adverts pop up. It is such a distraction. Now, it was that word that caught my attention, distraction. I said, what do you mean by that? And she said, well, when you're on a website and you're scrolling up through all the resorts and hotels that you're thinking about booking, all those adverts are so distracting. And it often stops me from clicking through to a hotel or a resort and taking a look at that resort in more details. And I said, yeah, I know, but that's how we make our money, through display ads. And then she said, but do you not make more money from somebody booking a hotel? And I kind of thought, yeah, that is something that is worth thinking about. So the next morning, I jumped on the computer and I started having a look at booking.com, which is one of the affiliate programs I'm using. And I started to look at the conversion rate. Now, don't get me wrong, this is quite a new website. So the conversion rates are gonna be low because we've not got the target audience really on the pages yet. When we get some of those, best X4Y articles up at number one, we will get a much better conversion rate. But the reason why I thought about taking the ads off my website or certain pages that should be converting better on this site is because of the adverts that are displayed. Now, if you had a travel article, and I'll put one on the screen now, as you're scrolling through that travel article, if you see display ads that are targeting your interest, because it's picked up on the, your cookie, your footprint, your search history, and it knows the kind of things you're interested in. If it starts picking up on things like golf or computers or hosting, and it throws these adverts onto that travel page, it's not as distracting because you can clearly see there's a hotel and there's an advert for a new computer. So it's kind of not the same topic. Therefore, you're not gonna get confused by clicking that advert. You know if you click that, you're not going to a hotel, you are gonna go over to a computer shop. Now with travel blogs, if you've been searching over the past few weeks or days, looking for a holiday or a destination, it will pick up on that. And the adverts that will be shown will probably be related to travel. Now I'm gonna throw a few adverts up on the screen here. Now you can see these adverts that are popping up on the screen now are all from my website. These are the adverts that started to pop up while I was scrolling through the content. Now when I'm embedding an affiliate program into my blog post to get the clicks, they look almost identical to these adverts that's popping up. And it's very difficult to figure out which one is my affiliate banner that I've put in there and which is the Google ad that is being shown. And it'll be the same to the customer or the reader. They won't know which one I've put and they'll just randomly click them. It could be an ad, it could be my affiliate link. But it's very distracting and it's very unclear which one they should click. And it's detrimental to me for sure. For instance, if I make one affiliate sale, which I did the other day, which was $106, I would need the equivalent of around 6,000 people coming to my website to earn that $106 in display ad revenue. Whereas one sale on my website got me that $106. Now I've noticed more and more travel websites do not have display ads. Certainly on their, what they say, their sales page, their best X for Y hotels, etc. They only tend to have them on their information pages. So it's something I am considering. I'd love to hear from you if you are a travel blogger, you have a travel website or in that niche. 
please let me know. Do you earn more from your affiliate programs than you do from display ads? Is there a fine balance? Is there some way to do that? Please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I am certainly edging towards affiliate program only on this travel niche, certainly until it gets high enough visitors per day to make display ads worthwhile. Don't get me wrong, if I get a couple of hundred thousand page views per month on my blog, it will certainly be beneficial to put some ads on there because it will earn me a couple of thousand dollars and I can't afford to turn that sort of money down. But if we're getting a targeted 50, 60, 70,000 page views, is it better to get a couple of hundred dollars from display ads or should I try for multiple sales on affiliate programs, which could be thousands of dollars? So again, as always, I'm sharing with you what I am doing. I am not suggesting you take display ads off your website. I am just saying there are certain niches and certain pages that maybe do not warrant display ads. And for the reason I mentioned earlier, a distraction between them clicking your affiliate product banner or image versus a Google banner or image. The two in certain niches are very, very similar. And I know if a customer or a reader is gonna click one, I know which one I want them to click. So thanks for joining me in this video. As always, plenty of videos coming out. And if you like this video, you're probably gonna like this one here that YouTube's suggesting. So click that, enjoy, and thanks for watching.